My brother and I, we had an early introduction to the natural world. My mum's a botanist and my earliest memories revolve around picnics, um, vacations to the mountains and collecting specimens from parks and forests. We grew up with a lot of affinity towards the natural world. And when I grew a bit older and when I was studying architecture and urban ecology, came with it also a lot of distraught, a lot of feelings of hopelessness and despair um, stemming from the condition of our city, stemming from the condition of our planet and the atrocities that we were posing on the planet. Whilst I was still in university, I lost my father to something called interstitial lung disease, which is an irreversible fibrosis of the lungs. I remember feeling so unanchored and I remember asking myself how and where he was and whether he was okay. And I remember writing myself a poem two days before he left, reminding myself that I would always find him in myself and I would always find him in the earth because his body was now going back to the earth. This was a huge revelation for me in many different spheres of my life. Until now, I was thinking we have to work with nature. We have to, in some ways, save nature. But this was an experience that helped me realize that we were nature. We weren't separate from her and that the boundaries that we have created between ourselves and between plants and other creatures, other living beings, are all created by ourselves. I also came to realize that I had a tool, I had a voice that I could use to take a profound experience such as the loss of my father and turn it into something meaningful and beautiful to share with myself, to bring solace to myself and those around me. This was the first song I wrote and it's called Daddy's Little Girl.
university, I went on to work in conservation. And I have learned that our actions are causing severe disturbances to the mountains, to rivers, to forests, to oceans, to all living creatures that walk, swim and fly on the earth. Life as we know it is shrinking and these precious resources have taken millions of years to evolve. Once lost, they would be lost forever. We need to come together and stand beside her now. She is resilient, the earth. She will survive, but not us, neither life as we know it. And this song is dedicated to her. Have you ever seen the wind? I never saw her, my friend. Is she real, would you know? I asked the trees for when she flows. The trees, they bow down their heads. 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 <laughs> Do you 